Hi guys, it's Sarah Taylor. Welcome back to my studio. I'm really glad that you're here. Uh, today I'm going to be talking about kind of a different concept. Um, I, I've been using, playing around and experimenting with some solvent based paint, which is different than acrylic. Um, it's thinned using like a mineral spirit. So it's a much different medium. However, I have a lot of curiosity about how it works alongside an acrylic paint. Oh, there's my kitty. Come here. Um, this is Lulu. <laughs> and so that's kind of what I've been messing around with. And I put all the acrylics down for the bloom technique. And then I put a little bit of the solvent paint on top and then swiped it with the uh, cell activator. And I wasn't sure what was going to happen. So it was beautiful wet. Uh, the solvent paint really like reacted strongly with the cell activator and I wasn't sure how it was going to dry. And when it dried, I was really, really in love with it. And it makes me just want to continue to experiment. Um, I'm also going to try some solvent based paints with my pearl technique and kind of see what I can come up with there. So that's kind of what's new for 2023. I'm teaching at fluid art experience in Seattle. That is, April 27th through the 29th. So that's going to be very exciting. And I can't wait. It's such a cool group of artists. Um, the lineup is on the website and um, I'm going to be teaching a lot of my pearl technique there. So the one-on-one -on -one is, is great. And if you want to support me, um, I sell my artwork. So check out my website. I also have some limited edition uh, Guy Clay paper prints that are available worldwide. So all right, no more selling. I'm going to get you to the canvas and show you this textured bloom technique, and I hope you like it. Much love. Have a beautiful day. And for my colors, this is all bloom mixed paint. That's a Charvin indigo, Charvin quinacridone magenta. That is Atelier rich gold. It dries beautifully, like a metallic, very metal looking paint. That's golden, interference gold, golden fluid. That is a stuck up piggy by TLP called Pretentious. That's my favorite of the three, I love it. That's a paint called Desert Clay by Color Art. And then here is my Prism Moon solvent paint that I thinned out a bit with some mineral spirit. And a Pella paint for my uh, for my bloom swipe painting. And if you have any questions on these recipes, I'm going to put a link below to a video called Pillow Talk that goes into great detail on the pillow paint that I'm using and all the recipes for the bloom paints as well. Uh, this is not to be confused with the pearl technique. Um, this is about the opposite end of the spectrum as far as consistency of paint. So two very different techniques not to be confused i do have playlists that break these out so there's the bloom swipes and then there's the pearl paintings which are in two different playlists on my channel um, and i do try to include recipes and and links to uh, videos that explain more in depth about these different ways of doing things so i put all the pigments down in the acrylic and then i added that solvent based uh, prism paint. It's, pe it's Pebio Prism Moon solvent based paint. And look how it reacts. This is crazy. It, I mean, the cell activator is reacting with the acrylic, but it's also having this sort of different reaction with the solvent paint. And what's interesting is, and I knew it had the potential to create texture in my painting. I've learned this from an artist called Acrylic Blog. Um, but I've never used it quite, I've used it in a few different applications and never had a whole lot of success, but this was, I really, really loved how this turned out. And the texture, just kind of running a little bit of texture through some of these paintings, I think can be really interesting and I'm excited to kind of keep playing around with this concept. And I hope you like it. Um, yeah, there's a, so many links below, different ways to support me and my art, and I'm just really grateful that you're here, and stick around, there's dried results, and I'm, I'm going to do a second painting as well, and I'll put these on my website, so if you're interested, I've got 
a lot of gallery work that has come back um, from 2022. I sold quite a lot, but there was also quite a few pieces that came home with me. And then I've got, I think like, uh, well, this could change, but um, four or five small paintings on my website right now as well. So, all right, much love and we'll talk to you soon. Bye. Oh, mm-hmm.